Hey everybody, my name is Jessica and I'm here to teach you a little bit about what I know, which is yarn. I've been crocheting for over 20 years. I have been knitting for about seven now. I spend my days in a beautiful local yarn shop where I get to help customers pick out the perfect yarn for their next projects. I teach both knitting and crocheting at the shop, as well as run groups in my community at my local library. I also run my very own handmade shop where I sell my knits for newborns and for children. And I also write patterns. I write patterns for blankets and hats and all kinds of fun things and have had my patterns featured by an international yarn distributor, which was really exciting. So the first thing I'd like to teach you about is Ravelry. It is a wonderful community for knitters and crocheters and anything really yarn related. They have a database of over 840,000 patterns and you can browse them and it is free to sign up. So let's get you started. Hey everybody, so here we are at Ravelry. You're going to type that into your website browser up at the top. It's R-A-V-E-L-R-Y dot com. And you should get the, to see this page. What you're going to do to create your account for the very first time is you're gonna click this button here that says join now. What you're going to do is you're going to enter your email address. And the address I'm going to use today is yarnlovecupcakes at gmail.com. And you're going to click email me a sign up link. From there, you're going to go into your browser and you're going to find that email. So let's do that. And here we are in our email account and the email is right there from Ravelry. The subject should be your Ravelry.com sign up link. You're going to click on that email to open it. And right there is your link that you're going to need to click. It will say Ravelry.com slash invite with a bunch of numbers and letters that are unique to you. From there, you're going to go ahead and click that link. It will open in a new window and you will have the opportunity to pick a username and choose a password. Make sure that the password matches when you type in confirm your password. Below that is an option to share my usage with Ravelry for usability research. That is completely up to you. You can check yes or no. Either way is totally fine. And once you're done there, click create my account and you'll have your very own brand new free Ravelry account. Stay tuned for future videos where I will share more information about how to search Ravelry, all the cool features that they have, and even eventually how to list your very own pattern on Ravelry. If you want more information about how I've learned to run my handmade business, please check out handmadetrainings.com. Have a great day. Talk soon.